Hey everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So it's about time for me to go make some lunch. All I've had today was coffee and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go make some lunch. We're gonna go to the post office to drop off my orders. I have to run some errands with Bobby um, later on, so we'll probably do that. And tonight for dinner, I'm making a recipe. I just don't know which one yet. So stick around and let's go make lunch. I didn't make lunch yet. I'm gonna do that in a second. But first, I'm gonna do this, because I need to. This is my plan. Okay, this is a thing for the fridge that I have to fix. So, tried um, hot gluing it, which didn't work, and also couldn't get all of it off. So, made it even more annoying, because now it doesn't like seamlessly go together, because there's some glue stuff on it still. So, the Gorilla Glue is like, you have to let it um, like bond together or whatever. So you're supposed to let it sit, but you're supposed to clamp it because like it doesn't like stick like super glue. You know, it doesn't immediately set. I have clamps. So my plan is to glue it and then wrap it with packing tape and let it sit. And then maybe eventually I could take the packing tape off. So if not, we're just using packing tape forever, I guess. So let's see. I could do this and try not to get it on the table. So I'll put this piece of paper down. So you're only supposed to use a little bit, it says. So I'll use that much. That's kind of a lot, I guess. That was stupid. Okay. Then, is this right? Yeah. Okay, then you push it together. Right? Okay, so that's where it's going to need to be. And now I'm going to tape it and squish it together more. Oh, I hate when this happens. When the tape, like, comes out of the thing and you have to peel it again. So annoying. So let's see. Oh my god, this is tough. Alright, I'm going to put it on this side first, right? Here's my plan. Squish it. Okay, squished it, got glue on my finger, okay, now we have this side, guys, I think this is going to work, okay, okay, look at that, ooh, okay, do the other side, don't get cocky, Tina, okay, let's do the other side, you can't even see what I'm doing, I'm an idiot, can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. Keep it there. Make sure it's together. Okay. Now, tape. I gotta tape this little like on the top. Get the top, which I think I did. So I think I'm like probably, I don't know, I could be like the smartest woman in the world, but I'm not really sure. If not, very close for sure. Because look, it's together. The fridge is like super, super, super crazy right now because this broke we went food shopping and i've just been stuffing stuff in to get it in there it, there's no organization i can't even see what we have it's crazy but um it's super full because we have a small fridge to begin with and then this broke and i had to put all the condiments that were on that shelf just stuff them in the fridge so i'm really glad this worked um the tape you can't even really tell so let's let's see if i could put this on now Okay, let me close this Gorilla Glue. Okay. The Zoodle Test. One, two, it's locked in, it's locked in. Okay. It's in, you guys. But like, here's the thing. Here's why it broke. It broke because this thing snapped in half, like right in the middle, because the condiments were laying on it. Like they were pushing onto it, and I guess maybe we had too many in there or something. I don't know, but 
I'm gonna have to like, look how I'm gonna see this fridge is. I, it's like, I can't even believe it. I can't even see what I have, it's pathetic. But I'm gonna have to do some rearranging of the fridge and put different stuff here cause what was there just wasn't working. I basically had like the condiments and stuff, like the ketchup and the, um, the heck is that called, mayo, all that crap. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I have to clean this baby out. And this is the drink I'm going to try later, Rainbow Candy. That's the Alani one I'll try later. So yeah, okay, let me clean this out. Uh, actually, no, I'm not cleaning this out right now. First, I'm making lunch because I'm hungry, so let's do that. For lunch, I'm going to have some eggs. Um, <laughs> Mama, get down. Get your stinky butt down. I'm gonna have some um, toast. This everything but the bagel, Tuscan pan from, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's Tuscan pan, I don't know. Anyway, from Trader Joe's. It's in a bag because Freddy ripped the bag open, so I had to put it in as a butt bag. But anyway, I'm gonna weigh it out. Um, always weigh it out, because look, they're all different size slices. They have holes in them, so weigh it out in grams. That's what I do. Then I'm gonna put some of this cheddar and gruyere into my eggs. And what else? Hmm, that's it really, I think. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna put some like ketchup drizzled on top and maybe something else on the side, we'll see. So, let's just make this and, and get going. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you are the good times with you baby this year is just gonna be you and me hang by the fire and chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories oh and i've been longing to hold you close forget about everyone else isn't this how it's supposed to be making our christmas memories lunch so um I have eggs which are zero I put in that cheddar and gruyere cheese which I was gonna use only half an ounce for two points but I ended up using a full ounce for four points bread's three points the butter is one point I used um just a tablespoon or 13 grams or whatever then I have two of these little mini orange things um, and that's it. So I'm going to eat this up. Oh, and I use zero points worth of ketchup drizzled. So that's it. I'm going to eat this up and then we'll go clean the kitchen or organize the kitchen, shall I say. I'm having a little snacky. So this boom chicka pop, OMG, hot cocoa marshmallow kettle corn. It's so good. It's not good in points really. Um, so I'm just having this little bowl of it which I weighed it out on the scale for 15 grams is three points. So, I mean, this is a very small amount for three points, but it is like very, very good. Um, and it's very like, not very chocolatey, but I don't know. I just, I love sweet and um, like sweet and salty. So like the chocolate with the popcorn, I just love it. So um, yeah, so this is like a um, seasonal one really good it's a small bag so I won't buy it again to have in the house all the time because it's really not good in points and if you don't measure it out like this you could definitely go overboard because I would have no problem just sitting here and eating directly out of that bag and accidentally finish the whole thing so weigh it out um, it's really good it has like the drizzle of chocolate and marshmallow on it mm, yummy when these two are cuddled like this like I just wish I was small enough to just like be the third dog and cuddle in with them. It's just so cute. Look at how cute they are. 
I just wish that I could like cuddle with them like really tightly and small. You guys, you guys are just so cute. He's so cute. You guys are adorable. They love each other. They're best friends, right? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I just dropped off all of my orders for today. So now I'm home. I'm going to, before I go organize the kitchen, I'm going to try an energy drink. It's about that time for a little boost. So I'm going to have the Alani New Rainbow Candy. So let's try this. I have good faith that I'm going to like this one. I mean Rainbow Candy. Love candy, love rainbows, love rainbow candy. Smells, they all have this like similar smell. See, I don't drink monsters. I drink sugar-free Red Bull and I always have for like the past, wow, I don't even know, since how old am I, 35? Like 15 years. <laughs> so, what was 15 years ago? 35, 25, 20, yeah, literally like 15 years. Um, I never really liked flavored um, energy drinks that much. And Alani knew is all the rage, so I'm trying it out. Yum. Mmm, this one's good. Yeah. This one's really good. It does taste like candy. I like this one a lot. I definitely like this one better. I like it better than um, the one I had yesterday, which was the uh, Tropsicle. Was that what it was called? Tropsicle? Um, I did like that one, but I like this one a lot better. This one is really good. I wonder if... Um, does rainbow candy mean it's supposed to taste like Skittles? Because look... That little thing looks like Skittles, kind of, and I'm trying to, like, think, does it taste like Skittles? I, I kind of feel like it does taste like Skittles. This is really, really good. Like, ten, like, I think 10 out of 10. Like, this is really, really good. I wonder if this is a popular one. Because, like, I definitely know, like, a ton of people have been trying, like, I'm way I'm way behind you know what I mean way behind the hype so like I feel like people have been trying Alani new stuff for a long time now so I wonder if this is one of the really popular ones because if not I don't understand that I don't understand how yesterday that tropical one that like I had said yesterday I saw on Instagram on Alani news Instagram that their most popular energy drink is the tropsicle this one is so much better this is so good i love it yeah i'm definitely gonna want to get more of these this is so good rainbow candy delicious delicious okay i'm going to put my true crime show back on give myself five minutes and then get into the kitchen and start Organizing that fridge because it's freaking chaos like I showed you <laughs> This flavor is rainbow candy. I've had a lot of energy drinks in my day, so I'm fairly qualified to try that this. one uh, I won't say anything I'll try it. it Smells exactly like Skittles. It's oh my god. I can't believe you just said that That's pretty good. First of all, I love it. That's the best one yet. Yeah, yeah I for sure. love it. This is really good. And I just said I was like I wonder if they mean Skittles, because I feel like it might taste like Skittles. Look at the package. That's Skittles. I know, but is it? <laughs> yeah, know. dude. Skittles has the red pack with the rainbow. I don't know. That's like 110% Skittles. All right, well. Damn, it smells I just like Skittles. Okay, here's the fridge. I know I showed you before. It's a little crazy. Well, a lot crazy. I already started throwing some stuff out. Um... There was just stuff that went bad or like old leftovers and stuff like that. So I did that. So I'm going to start with the fridge first. Just organize it. You know, clean the shelves and put everything back on this shelf. So yeah, let's do that. Okay, so the fridge.
fridge is clean, the fridge is organized. All right, we have all the meats in there. Right now, I have all the veggies in here. Um, I do have to prep some. Like, I have to cut up these scallions, and I'll put them in one of these savers so that they're just prepped and ready to go and use. Um, I have in here, like, all, like, dip-type things. Then this is creamers, coffee stuff, uh, pancake syrup, whatever. I think I'm going to use these tonight. I'm not sure. A million cheeses. This is, like, the leftover slit. <laughs> eggs this is extra stuff um breads and that's it and then here um i didn't stuff that middle rack too much because i don't want it to break again so it's just annoying because you know when you close the fridge it slides so i don't know the bottom i gotta ask bobby what he's willing to get rid of i mean it's so it's like so full and it's mostly all bobby stuff and he doesn't even really use it but whatever he'll say he does the butter section and that's it yeah so nice and clean I feel so much better so I'm doing pretty good that one took longer than the fridge but I really had to like use my brain so oh, I'm so happy it's so much cleaner I took all any type of snacks that were out in here um, yeah so I just have like peanut butters on the side um, salad stuff canned stuff canned stuff sauce type stuff extra sauces that don't fit all baking stuff and hi <laughs> it's very impressive Thank you. It's very impressive. This is all side stuff, like rice, uh, not rice, yeah, like the minute rice and the mashed potatoes and shake and bake type stuff, stove top. This is pasta stuff. This is taco stuff and just extra stuff. This is baking stuff. And that's all baking stuff and extra stuff. And those are oils. All right, guys. Bobby's in the liquor store because he has to get, like, eggnog and schnapps or something for him and his brother's, um, what do you call it? scavenger hunt they do it for christmas every year it's really cute anyway so i figured since he's still in he's in there and um i just finished organizing the pantry and everything it's 6 40 um so by the time we eat it might take me a little bit to make it so it might be like eight nine o'clock around there i'm not sure so i'm actually gonna have a snack and i figured i would do half of one of the alani fit bars um, I'm going to try the blueberry muffin one. So this is what it looks like. It's actually white with blue. Do half. Wow, it really smells like blueberry. Hopefully you could see. I mean, it is dark out, so. I like it. 
Yeah. Wow. It doesn't taste very, like, proteiny. Kind of like a little bit at the end. You get a little proteiny taste. But when you initially bite in, <clears throat> it's, like, very blueberry. It's really good. Um, I think I might like it better than the munchies one yesterday. Same type consistency. It's really really good like, i don't feel like i'm eating a protein bar i really don't feels like i'm eating some sort of cereal bar that's what it tastes like like a cereal bar it's so good like i was saying the same thing with the drink that i had which can you believe bobby said skittles too that's so funny well you probably can't because everybody in the world probably says it's a skittles flavor but I don't know. I just remember, I remember obviously seeing tons of people try Alani stuff, but I don't remember at all which flavor was what and if they liked it or what. Except for the new one. I know everyone has been saying about the peanut butter is really good. But I think it's because only now have I been paying attention. Um, maybe I just wasn't too interested before and that's why I don't really remember what was what. Because I really just, I, w I really got this stuff because I wanted to see, like, what the hype was about because everyone loves it. So, that's really it. But I wonder if this is a popular one because this is so good. So good. I will absolutely buy it again. It's a nice little treat. It does not feel like I'm eating a protein bar. I feel like I'm eating some sort of, like, cereal bar with candy on it. Like the Lucky Charms bars, you know, how they're, like, sweet and, ugh. This is really good. Mm-hmm. A plus. Just opened the fridge and my thing fell off. It was like in a movie. You're lucky that yogurt didn't cause a rose such a clatter. Because mm. that would have been terrible. It's not open yet. I'm actually very happy that Tina kept her cool when that broke because I was going to hide under the table. But she kept her cool and she actually laughed. So you have to laugh about the little things I've found. A life lesson. Annoying! I have this Skinny Taste Air Fryer book that I just got, which I'm really excited about because there's a ton of new recipes in it, which also reminds me to tell you, not a ton of new recipes, a ton of recipes that look amazing is what I meant to say. Um, there's so much good looking stuff in this thing. It looks so good. Um, but one thing I wanted to say was I actually got two of these and I'm saving one of them for a giveaway that I'm going to be doing um, when, for when I hit a thousand. So I don't know when, but I'll be talking about it somewhat soon. So let me try and find the recipe. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. I'm making these naked seasoned chicken tenders, but I'm using chicken breasts because that's what I have. So... Um, it's basically just chicken with seasonings and you actually coat it in mayo first so that the seasonings stick and it says that it makes it juicy. So I'm going to cook them in the air fryer. That will be basically zero points. I don't know. We'll see with the light mayo how much is what. And then on the side I'm going to make Brussels sprouts. It's in the fridge and it's going to go bad if it's not bad already. So I'm going to cut into it and see. But I've been wanting to put this in the air fryer with um, Parmesan on top of it. I forget where I saw that. I saw it somewhere. I don't know if it was like on the WW app or Pinterest or Skinny Taste. Who knows? I don't know where I saw it, but I saw it. So I'm going to do that. So let's get everything together, start cooking, and ooh, I get to use my new cookbook stands. Put these in for five minutes at 400 
Now I'm gonna flip them over and let them cook for another five minutes. But first, I'm gonna put Parmesan cheese on um, each slice. I did 32 grams worth of cheese. I weighed it out. And then, so that would be, if me and Bobby split this, I don't even think I'm gonna need that much. But if me and Bobby split this, then it'll be two points. So, let's see. cheese on zucchini. Got to guess eggplant. It's good though. Good, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this, a trick prank? You didn't bring your plate. I don't mm -hmm. have a plate. What plate? You went downstairs with um, cheese. Um, I thought you said come make a plate. I thought it was dinner. Mm -mm. I was going to give you some to eat downstairs. What if I just put it in my hand? Hey. I'll take this. Okay. Bye guys. I'll never forget you. These are really good. Really, 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 really good. Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know real quick. Um, I'm not following the recipe completely. I just want to tell you real quick the changes that I'm making. So these are the seasonings that she had said. Salt, garlic powder, onion, chili, sweet paprika, pepper, right, and mayo. So instead... I'm going, I am going to use the salt, the pepper, garlic, onion, and instead of the paprika and chili, this cheesy, tasty uh, seasoning, it's just Parmesan, red pepper, oregano. So I'm going to use that instead because I've really been liking this lately, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm also, instead of using light mayo, I'm going to use this Nando's Perry Maze. Perry maze. Perry maze. Um, it's spicy. It is so good and it's the same points as light mayo. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of this to coat the chicken and then put the seasonings on top and then cook it in the air fryer. my Brussels sprouts, I have my chicken, I have a point's worth of this Marie's light blue cheese just to dunk it in. If I had ranch, um, that would be perfect, but I don't because I threw away the Bull House Farms one because it was expired. And then I went to go make um, the Greek yogurt ranch, which I've never tried but was going to try since it would have been zero points, but don't have any ranch seasoning. So, going to have that. Probably won't even, I don't even know if I'll use it. I'll taste it, but I like dipping, so. Um, the chicken, 
I already tasted a piece and let me tell you it's so good like look at the color on it it's spicy but not too spicy it came out perfect in the air fryer so good and it's zero points oh no wait I'm sorry it's one point because of the Nando's so one point for the chicken um, the Brussels sprouts works out to be one point let me think yeah the Brussels sprouts is one point because the butter and the balsamic are zero points with how much I used. And then it's just one point for the honey. So that, so that's just a, and with that, so that's one, two, a three point dinner. Three point dinner, look at that. Here's dessert. I just took a banana, whipped cream, and then I took three of these Murray Sugar Free Brownie Thins for one point. So, one point dessert. I'm gonna eat this up and then I'm done for the night. It's time for the advent calendar. <gasps> wow, what do I got for you, God? Fish snacks. Nice. Ready? Come here. Sit down. There you go, honey. Merry Christmas, boy! Alright guys, that does it for me. I'm going to close this out here and I will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Vlogmas Day 9 and I can't believe that tomorrow will be 10. There's only a couple days left. I'm pretty sad about it, but also, it's a lot. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye!